Good morning guys, Larry the Tractor Guy here. Getting ready to go this morning. It's gonna be another triple digit day, looks like today. And uh, we got a lot of calls to make today. We're gonna to go look at a swather and a baler today that guys having some issues with and some fuel problems with an engine on a swather and then um, also uh, some hay baler problems. So we're gonna go take a look at that. I've got a little 70 John Deere here and i pulled it out the other day it hadn't been started in a while and this is where it died so i don't know we get home from work this evening we're gonna see if we can get this 70 started and um, it may need some points and condenser i don't know it's a pretty old tractor but i really like this tractor it really runs good anyway we're gonna look at that this evening too see if we can get this tractor going so we're gonna get out in the field and uh, We'll see you when we get there. So we're out here at this R450 Swatha this morning and talking to the customer and he does have uh, verified that he does have low fuel rail pressure codes. And so we're gonna hook up service advisor real quick. So we did connect service advisor here and verify that we do have good high pressure fuel right now just sitting here running. But we did also verify that we had a fuel rail, rail pressure code which is a 1347.07 code which is a mismatch between the actual and the desired uh, fuel pressure and so we're probably going to monitor this fuel pressure and run this machine out here in the field and see if we can load it up pretty hard and kind of get an idea of um, what our fuel pressure is doing and then we may end up hooking up a gauge probably and checking our supply low pressure supply over to the high pressure pump so we're going to check that out and we'll let you know what our results are i'm going to show you real quick we hooked up a pressure transducer to our low fuel pressure so we could read our low fuel pressure coming from our low fuel pressure pump and uh, if you can see my digital gauge here it's reading right around minus one pound so it's actually trying to pull into a vacuum from the tank we do have good fuel flow from the tank but i think our our transfer pump was not supplying enough fuel over to our high pressure pump so as a result of that we are getting a actual and desired mismatch there okay and but I, what i believe is the problem is our low fuel pressure pumps not putting out enough fuel to keep up okay so we're going to look into that a little bit deeper um, see what we got and possibly replace the low pressure fuel pump. So stay tuned and we'll check back with you here in just a few. Minutes. What we found on this R450 Swather and on this uh, engine here with the uh, high pressure fuel code, the 1347.07 code, we went ahead and ran our low pressure fuel test and we had 4.4 PSI at idle which was in spec according to service advisor and so then we went ahead and ran the spillover test on our high pressure fuel pump and on our injector return so we disconnected it here we ran our injector return back into a catch can and we had a little bit over 12 ounces we should have seen about 7.3 ounces of return out of the injectors and then we also checked the return flow out of our high pressure pump here. So we, we basically came and we kinked off the return hose going to the tank from the pump. And then we hooked up a hose here into a catch can and we collected about 16 ounces of fuel, spillover fuel out of our high pressure pump. And we should have seen about 11.3 ounces of fuel and checking this test at idle for one minute. Okay, so we should have seen 7.3 ounces out of our injectors and we had a substantial more uh, larger amount of fuel out of the injectors and then we should have seen 11, little over 11 ounces out of our high pressure pump at idle for one minute and we had about 16 ounces. So I feel like what's going on here is at high idle we are really losing our, our low pressure fuel because we don't have enough low pressure fuel to keep up with the high pressure pump because we have too much leak off on our injectors and too much leak off in our pump, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and 
probably put a set of injectors and a new high pressure pump on this machine and see how it runs. We're out in the hay field this afternoon on this uh, R450 that we had all the uh, fuel high pressure fuel rail codes and fuel, fuel rail pressure mismatch and had quite a bit of issues and so you know we had a lot of return coming out of our high pressure pump and then also a lot of spillover return out of our injectors and so we we measured that you know as i explained earlier on and we went ahead and put a new pump on and went ahead and put new injectors in new pump new injectors and we went ahead and replaced the fuel rail too um, i kind of like to do that when we put new injectors and new high pressure pump on and so we got a thing running really good and fix and go ahead and return it to the field let this customer continue on uh, swapping hay here so i'm gonna go ahead and hit high idle engine sounds real good and strong fuel pressure's back up to spec so we're gonna go ahead and get after this after this hay swath and so hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching larry the tractor guy signing out hey guys check out larry the tractor guy videos here other videos here subscribe here and buy all your john deere parts here we'll make it work i think gonna have to make it. we'll make it work come on let's go <laughs> we need to make you need some bloopers y'all already y'all already burning me out he's sitting in the sun over here man